Meta just dropped $14 billion on what looks like a simple data labeling company. But this isn't just a simple tech acquisition. This is Zuckerberg's desperate attempt to avoid becoming the next BlackBerry of AI. And what I'm about to show you reveals why even Google engineers are calling this move genius or catastrophic. There's no middle ground. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than firsthand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage. Join our online school and access over 40 on-demand AI training courses, new ones added every week at firstmovers.ai slash labs. Most acquisitions you hear about? They're not real acquisitions at all. They're what insiders call aqua hires, glorified hiring exercises where big tech says, we don't want your company. We just want to hire all your people. Think about it. When your friend brags about getting acquired by Google, ask them one question. Was it an aqua hire or a stock purchase? If they say aqua hire, they basically got a fancy job offer with golden handcuffs. No real money changed hands. I have seen this firsthand. Engineers sitting in offices for three years, doing nothing, just waiting for their retention money to vest. It's like getting paid millions to play video games on the roof while your startup dreams slowly die. But here's where it gets interesting. There's a new strategy emerging that's flying completely under regulatory radar. License and release deals. Microsoft paid $650 million for inflection, but didn't actually buy the company. Google dropped $2.7 billion on character AI. Same thing. Amazon grabbed Adept for $330 million. They're extracting the brains, taking the IP, but leaving the corporate shell behind. Why? Because when you buy a whole company, you inherit every lawsuit, every liability, every skeleton in their closet. Plus, the FTC reviews every major acquisition with a microscope, but license deals, they slip through like shadows. Which brings us to the deal that has Silicon Valley absolutely losing its mind. Meta's $14 billion investment in scale AI by 28-year-old founder Alexander Wang. On paper, scale AI does data labeling, teaching AI models the difference between a cat and a dog. Sounds boring, right? Wrong. They're the invisible foundation that every major AI model is built on. OpenAI, Google, everyone depends on them. But here's the twist that nobody's talking about. Synthetic data is about to make scale AI's entire business model obsolete. AI models are now generating their own training data. They missed their billion dollar revenue target last year. Customers are walking away. So why would Zuckerberg pay $14 billion for a potentially dying business? He's not buying scale AI. He's buying Alexander Wang, the young CEO who built this empire from scratch. Wang is leading Meta's new super intelligence team with engineers getting eight to nine figure salaries just to join. This is Zuckerberg's admission that Llama 4 was a disaster. Remember when everyone thought Meta was the coolest AI company, then Llama 4 launched and it was like watching a Ferrari break down at the starting line. But here's the genius part. At 49% ownership, Meta avoids full regulatory review. They get Wang, they get the team, they get the data pipelines, but technically they don't own scale AI. The FTC is scrambling to figure out how to handle these new structures. Meanwhile, Google just announced their own $32 billion acquisition of Wiz. And guess what? The FTC is now doing a full year-long review that could kill the entire deal. This isn't just about one acquisition. This is about three different futures. Future one, traditional acquisitions die under regulatory pressure. Everything becomes license and release deals. Future two, the FTC adapts and starts treating these disguised acquisitions like real ones 
months, the loophole closes. Future 3, we see a complete fragmentation where big tech operates through dozens of independent companies that they secretly control. The next 18 months will determine which future we get. And if you're building anything in AI right now, understanding these acquisition strategies isn't optional, it's survival. Because whether you're trying to get acquired, avoid getting crushed by big tech, or just understand where this industry is heading, these three models, aqua hire, license and release, and strategic investment are rewriting every rule. What do you think? Is Meta's move genius or desperate? Drop your thoughts below. And if this kind of inside analysis is valuable to you, hit that subscribe button because I'm tracking every move in this AI chess game. The revolution isn't coming. It's already here, hidden in the fine print of billion dollar deals that most people will never understand. Don't be most people. Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AI R&D labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10 minute video. Specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, we're not just teaching theories. We're sharing the exact systems my team is implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs. Subscribe if you want to understand the paradox that will reshape human civilization, because I believe those who see it coming will inherit the world that emerges from the collapse. I'll see you down the next rabbit hole.